Before I say a word about fucking anything, I just want to express how much I love you guys because you support me amazingly. And this DJ dinner plate guy uh, says, Gilly, you haven't changed and it's fucking awesome. Fucked up stories for life, fam. Sweet. Yeah. Eight thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Keep up the awesome support. If we could get like 500 likes on this video, that would be really appreciated and that would make your boy happy. But... This video's fucked up, okay? It's a fucked up story, it's a fucked up thing that happened in my life. It's actually not that fucked up, it's kind of funny. But, it's inspired by this guy, Matt Tyler, and he said, What's the most trouble you've ever been in? And honestly, it's kind of weird, because the way I do this kind of inspiration from you guys is like... I don't necessarily always answer your question exactly, but you guys will say shit in my comments or... Hit me up on Twitter and I'm like, oh, something pops in my mind. And then it's like, it just keeps the ball rolling, right? So I'm not going to be telling you about the most trouble I've ever been in. I can save that for later. But for now, I wanted to tell this story. And I threw this guy's uh, Twitter thing up because, you know, he inspired this video. So this happened, ooh, not too long ago. I will tell you that. It was during my senior year of high school. And so, I smoked a lot of Budski, a lot of marijuana, every day. See, I had this weird, not weird, weird is not the correct word. The correct word would be fucking amazing schedule, where I had this off period, right? And I only had four classes a day, so you picture that, right? Those are long classes, they were like an hour and a half. I'll throw it, I don't know, I'll just show you the times real quick, what my schedule looked like. I had this off period in the middle of the day. And then during that off period, after people would normally have that class, there would be lunch right after it. So I had this good block of like two, over two hours of freedom where I could just do whatever the fuck I wanted. And the crazy thing, the, the, the fucking icing on the cake was all of my friends had this class off too. So you know what, man? Woo, blaze up. Right, right, okay. We would smoke bud, smoke marijuana, and... You know, we went through phases. It'd be bongs, it'd be blunts, and we were in the blunt phase. And if you've ever smoked a blunt, you know that these fucking, these fucking sticks of bud covered in tobacco, you know, rolled up in a nice fucking tobacco cigar, they get stanky. You smell the bud. Get skunky all around you. And so I'd be stanking, right? And I'd go into class smelling like weed kind of often honestly and it was fucked up and it was stupid because when you're baked you know a lot of people would be paranoid and sometimes I would be but for the most part you know I just throw in the eye drops chew up some gum maybe a little bit of cologne maybe and I'd go to class and fuck it you know I'm high and I'm gonna do class I'm gonna do school right and you know it was kind of normal I mean even like my junior year people some maybe one or two people might be like occasionally they'd be like oh man you smell like weed I'd be like oh yeah man <laughs> funny <laughs> and um that would be it but this one particular day me and my boy it was just me and my homie <clears throat> no I was about to say his name but that'd be kinda illegal might throw him under the bus for the cops watching this video me and my dog we were rolling up a blunt, and we hotboxed two of these motherfuckers. We had, like, two blunts in my car, hotbox, which is not... We always hotbox. We felt like it was a waste not to hotbox it, because, you know, you, you hit the blunt, then all the smoke's in the air, and you get more of it once you're sitting in a fucking smoke container. So we were doing this. It was during lunch, and um, he actually had Febreze. I had a Febreze can in my car, and he would always cake himself the fuck up with Febreze, and I was like, nah, 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 not me. So I went to class, right, and I had my backpack in the car. So I walk into class, and instantly people turn in their heads, and like, you know, people at my school were cool, so they're like, oh man, you need some cologne, bro? You need some, you smell like bud, and like, Jeez. fuck. See, here's the thing, I was sitting, I sat in the back of the class, it was math class, pre-calculus, okay? I actually failed that class, and now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense. I was sitting in the back, and, like, everybody at my table at first was like, oh, man, you smell. And then, like, people at, and then, like, after, like, a couple minutes, people at the next table were like, oh, my God, what smells like weed? I'm just like, ugh, looking around. Okay, you know, not a big deal right now. But then 
simultaneously I just hear conversations of people. You know, the classroom's kind of loud and people are like, it smells like weed. I smell weed. I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck. And I had my homeboy next to me. He's African-American. He's black, right? And he's my dude. I always smoked with him too. But this particular day, I didn't smoke with him. And the class is fucking reeking and people are telling me, yo, you should probably fucking leave. You are reeking up the room. And I was like, shit. I was like smelling my clothes. I'm like, my clothes don't really smell. I think it's just my backpack. So I just left. I didn't ask to go to the bathroom or anything. I took my backpack out and put it in the car. And then I came back to school. And when I got back to class, I didn't have any of my stuff with me. It was just me, my person. I grabbed my pens and whatnot. And I was sitting down and fuck, man. The classroom smelled like weed, and I was like, shit, man, I'm on a, I don't know why the fuck I came back, I should have just left. But I sat down in my seat, and just, pff, I was sketched out at this point, because I knew that it smelled. I was like, if I could smell it right when I opened the door to walk in this classroom, I know the teacher can smell this shit too. So I sit down, and a few minutes go by, I see the teacher walk out of the room, okay? And she comes back in. I'm like, oh man, something's up. The hall monitors, right? The fucking, the dudes who pull you out of class to take you to the principals and da-da-da-da fucking people who da-da-da-da, you know, do all that type of shit. Deal with the fucking bad kids. They come to the room and they say, I'm like ready for my name to be called. They say, Marquise, come with us. And that's my black friend sitting next to me and I'm like, oh shit. You know, fucking America, man. Fucking United States, okay? And I'm like, shit. And then he gets up, he leaves. I'm like, damn, my he's uh, he's he didn't smoke or anything, so he won't get in trouble. And at that point, I felt like, all right, I'm good. Like they're gonna search him and not find anything on him. He's not gonna be high. We're good. I'm chilling, and you know the class is kind of not really doing anything. Like the teacher wasn't doing shit. She was kind of upset that the room smelled like bud. He comes back, my friend, about. I don't know, 10 minutes later. And he sits back down next to me and he's like, dog, you might be fucked. I'm like, what? The hall monitor, he walked him back, was like, Alec, can you come with me? I'm like, shh, all right, all right. I wasn't really scared. I wasn't because I was like, you know what happens, happens. Shit happens. That's what happens in life. So whatever, I'm just going to go and I'm going to get through this. I'm walking with the hall monitor and they're like, did you smoke any weed? I honestly, because I was really pretty high, don't remember the walk exactly. I, I think it was pretty silent, but they just asked me like a couple questions. I was like, you know, about weed. I was like, nope. Do you have anything on you? Nope. And they take me to the principals. And I sit the fuck down. And I'm like, high as hell, man. High as fuck. And they're like, the principal was upset because she's like, oh my god, you smell like weed. And she was hurt because I was reeking up her fucking office. And... They, they search me. They're like, can you take everything out of your pockets? Can you, you know, like, show me everything? And they're, like, looking through my wallet, looking through everything. And she's just talking to me, like, you really smell like weed. What did you do during lunch? It's like, I didn't do anything. I smoked a cigarette. And she's like, okay. And then she just brought up, like, my attendance. And it's like, you know, your attendance is really bad, Alec. You need to start coming to class. So I was like, yeah, I know, I will. It's like, you look fucking high and you smell really really bad I was like I don't know what to tell you I didn't do anything and just denied everything and then after a great amount a hefty amount of interrogation questions and you smoked weed and I was like nope 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 no I didn't she was like oh, I can't even be in this room and she walks out cuz it smelled like bud and I reeked and then the hall monitors, after the principal walked out, were just like, you know what, you should probably just go home. And so, you know what your boy did. He left, and I, yeah, I got kicked out of fucking class because I was, uh, accused of being high and smelling like weed. But that was it. No trouble, no suspension, which, you know, for the most part, when kids get in trouble like that, they get suspended, and parents call them shit. So your boy got lucky, and... You know, I don't recommend, you know, some advice me to you. Don't go to school smelling like weed. It's not worth it. Like, don't have that as your reputation. That's something I wish I didn't do. Like, I had a lot of friends who smoked weed all the time, but nobody ever fucking knew. And slide under the radar. You never get in trouble because getting in trouble for weed sucks and makes it so you can't smoke weed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I love you, kings and queens. Click my like button below. Goodbye! Hi, my name is... My name is My name is Royal Gilly. My name is My name is My name is Royal Gilly. My name is Excuse me. My name is 
Royal Gilly. 